Let's take a look at the vessels in the upper part of the abdomen. This represents the diaphragm. This is the adrenal gland. This is the opening of the esophagus as it's coming through the diaphragm. This is the aorta. It's already passed through the diaphragm. This is the inferior vena cava and a kit, the right kidney and right adrenal gland. So let's take a close look at some of the vessels in the aorta. This is called the celiac trunk. It's the first branch off the aorta after it's passed through the diaphragm. This next vessel is the superior mesenteric. This is the left renal, and this is a left suprarenal, supplying the blood to the adrenal gland. We move down just a little bit on the aorta. You can see two branches come off. These are gonadal arteries, either going to the testes or the ovary. Now let's widen our view and take a look at the rest of the aorta. In this case, you're seeing the most inferior part of the abdominal aorta. This is the inferior mesenteric artery. The aorta has divided into a left and right common iliac artery. If we take just one of these, we can notice it divides again. It has an external iliac and an internal iliac. The internal iliac supplies the organs of the pelvic region, such as the bladder. The external iliac will pass through the abdominal wall and become a femoral artery. I'd like you at this point to notice also this yellow structure, which is the ureter. The ureter is anterior to this iliac 